Hello everyone, welcome to Shorthand Battle. I am Divya and I am going to dictate you a passage of 800 words from GD Bisht magazine at the speed of 115 words per minute. So get ready for the dictation. 3, 2, 1 and go. This special leave petition has been filed against the judgment and order dated 24th April 2008 passed in writ petition number 28 of 2006 by the High Court of Andhra Pradesh by which the writ petition against the order of dismissal of the petitioner's application and successive appeals under the Right to Information Act 2005 has been dismissed. In the said petition, the direction was sought by the petitioner to the respondent number 1 to provide information as asked by him why his application dated 15th November 2004 from the respondent number 4 a judicial officer as for what reasons the respondent number 4 had decided his miscellaneous appeal dishonestly. The facts and circumstances giving rise to this case are that the petitioner claimed to be in exclusive possession of the land in respect of which civil suit number 810 of 2000 was filed before additional civil judge Ranga district praying for perpetual injunction by Dr. Rao against the petitioner and another from entering into the suit land. Application filed for interim relief in the said suit stood dismissed, being aggrieved the plaintiff Therein preferred CMA number 180 of 2000 and the same was also dismissed. Two other suits were filed in respect of the same property impleading the petitioner also as the defendant. In one of the suits that is OS number 875 of 2000 the trial court granted temporary injunction against the petitioner. Being aggrieved, petitioner preferred the CMA number 64 of 2003, which was dismissed by the appellant court, respondent number 4, wide order dated 10th August 2004. Petitioner filed an application dated 15th November 2004 under section 6 of the RTI Act before the administrative officer come assistant state public information officer respondent number one seeking information to the queries mentioned therein. The said application was rejected wide order dated 23rd November 2004 and an appeal against the said order was also dismissed wide order dated 20th January 2005. Second appeal against the said order was also dismissed by the Andhra Pradesh State Information Commission wide order. The petitioner challenged the said order before the High Court seeking a direction to the respondent number one to furnish the required information immediately. The appellant was convicted by the trial court under section 306 IPC on the allegation that his farm labor deceased committed suicide because of the harassment meted out to him by the appellant. The prosecution case was that the appellant two days prior to the incident leveled an allegation of theft of ornaments against the deceased that the appellant had also demanded from the deceased rupees 7000 which was given to him as advance at the time when he was kept in employment. The conviction was affirmed by the High Court. In the instant appeal filed by the accused, it was contended for the appellant that the conviction of the appellant was unsustainable as no ingredients of offence punishable under section 306 IPC were made out. 
abetment involved a mental process of instigating a person or intentionally aiding a person in doing of a thing without a positive act on the part of the accused to instigate or aid in committing suicide conviction cannot be sustained the intention of the legislature and the ratio of the cases decided by this court is clear that in order to convict a person under section 306 ipc there has to be a clear mens rea to commit the offense it also requires an active act or direct act which led the deceased to commit suicide seeing no option and that this act must have been intended to push the deceased into such a position that he committed suicide in the instant case the deceased was undoubtedly hypersensitive to ordinary petulance discord and differences which happen in day to day life human sensitivity of each individual differs from the other different people behave differently in the same situation in the light of the provisions of the law and the settled legal positions crystallized by a series of judgment of this court the conviction of the appellant cannot be sustained the word suicide in itself is nowhere defined in the indian penal code however its meaning and import is well known and requires no explanation sue means self and side means killing thus implying an act of self killing in short a person committing suicide must commit it by himself irrespective of the means employed by him in achieving his object of killing himself suicide in itself is not an offense under either english law or indian criminal law stop